public security. The punishment for deviation is termination. Let it be known that tonight, whatever night that is, is the start of a never-ending Halloween. Tonight's three-course meal consists of buttered popcorn. Mmm. Skittles. Taste the, uh, and a succulent, succulent Dr. Pepper. Head on over to the fridge. Grab yourself a can. Uh, we, we have too many. Go, go grab yourself one. This very first volume of Thriller Night is sponsored by the good people of the Citadel. And from the Dragon's Lair, we have our very first adventurer, Nuggy. And from the Rain District, we have our existing residents, Bronze Thunderbeard, Luzi, D Domino, Banger, and Moon Dolly. Thank you all very much. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, if you're not new here, hello, friends. It's good to have you back. Sit back, relax, and happy Halloween. The whistleblowers have kept their promise and have leaked another tape. It seems to be some sort of training protocol used by the ERD to train their agents on not only entities, but field skills to improve their chances of survival. Warning, this game is not suitable for children or those easily disturbed. Warning, this game contains flashing lights and images that may trigger seizures in individuals with photosensitive Apple Pepsi. Viewer discretion is advised. So just a warning for anyone in here who has Apple Pepsi. Uh, don't watch. Uh, we'll, we'll continue the next one. For the best experience, adjust graphics and volume. In settings, there is no pause menu. This game briefly uses webcam and computer profile name. If you do not want this, opt out in the settings. Head cam or webcam. Why do you need to look at me? Wear headphones and turn off the lights. All right, everyone, this is the Lancaster Leak Entity Exam. I think it's about anomalies, obviously about entities, but I think what it's about is we have to take this exam to see if we are fit enough to work against entities. I don't know if we're employed by someone or anything like that. But it's to see how good we are. We are getting that feeling that you aren't taking us seriously. No acknowledgement of missing Valerie or the tapes we... Excuse me? This time we decided to reveal something a little bit closer to home. An old screen recording of one of your training protocols. If she isn't released, maybe the next leak will show how useless your training is. Does the agent body cam footage ring a bell it does not am i even playing the right one is the question now oh <laughs> it's loud log in user hold on let me turn it down just a, just a tiny bit so that i don't blow your ears out user what's my user Oh, this is cool. All right. User Joe Biden. Required learning modules and practice practice uh, quiz. So we got a bunch to take here. And then there's a comprehensive exam later. Face detection. Throughout ERD research, there has been one constant. Entities who possess human characteristics are the most violent, deceptive, and are the greatest threat to public security. It is imperative that agents have the skills to not only detect potential threats but fast. DRD has found the one-year agent fatality rate goes down from 34.7 per 100 to 26.2 per 100 after taking this module and being proficient in this skill. 
En entities, they, they calm down. <laughs> Using your cursor, click on the face in the image in the allotted time. Distractions may be employed. Distractions? To trick me? Begin. Wait, what am I clicking? Just... Just the face? Okay. Dude, my cat is on my lap. If it, if I get jump scared... <laughs> the contrast on that one. What the fuck? His head was gone. Come on, Joe Biden. That guy did not have a face anymore. Did we ace oh, fuck. Oh, no, God. <laughs> Bro showing us live leak footage he said was a game. I I don't know, man. It's a game apparently. It's on an IO website. <laughs> I hope none of that was real. Situation training. This module has been created to address and rectify observed deviations from established protocols, reaffirming the essential principles that all ERD agents are expected to adhere to consistently. Lesson 1. Cert. Cert. Lesson 1. CERT stands for Calmly Collect Evidence, Eliminate Threats, Run Away, and Terminate Self. Given an interaction with an entity, these are the order of actions an agent will take during escalation. First, of course, is data collection, as research remains the top priority of ERD. Second, eliminate the threat, unless such entity is on the preservation list. A dead entity can be studied, a dead agent cannot. If fighting back is futile, agents should run. If running is futile, agents should terminate themselves. Let us look at an example, where an what agent the didn't follow the principle self? of CERT. In 1989, Agent Redacted was collecting data on Entity 59 Skinwalker. Suddenly cornered, Agent Redacted fired all 12 shots of his service pistol into Entity. With no bullets left, Redacted was subjected to Entity 59's ref. Remember to search, remember to keep an extra round. Oh wow. This video is another example. Think, following the values of search, what would you do? Oh no, I don't know, uh, no live leak footage please. Throw down with Satan if needed. Yeah, you would Lesson like the two, like the milkman from earlier. Improvements we need in the RD. To interact with entities, if new data can be collected, don't risk losing obtained data by interacting too much. To help co-workers gather data, don't become friends with co-workers. So data is the to terminate co-workers' elite data. 
Don't hesitate. Explain later. Oh, I see. Lesson 3 Follow Mission Protocol. Explain later. Deviation from mission protocol endangers yourself, co-workers, and data collection. Assisting civilians is strictly forbidden, unless stated otherwise in mission protocol. Reminder, the punishment for deviation is termination. Jesus Christ, dude. In 1990, Agent Redacted was on a mission studying an entity. The entity was located at Agent Redacted's house. Agent Redacted tried and successfully saved his wife. Agent Redacted didn't follow protocol and both him and his wife were terminated. You guys killed his family anyway? Even though he was successful? This concludes the refresher. We will not remind about these topics again. See your supervisor if you have questions. If I'm dying, either way, I'm at least trying to fight. Yeah. A multiple question quiz about these topics will now commence. Do you want Cory to come back? Do you miss him? Begin. Or do you... <laughs> I have, I'm taking a test, RNG. An entity has killed your partner but is no longer exhibiting hostile behavior. What should you do? Gather data. Collect evidence. Yeah. After a, a mission, an entity unknowingly followed you home. You have tried to shoot the entity, but your efforts are futile. You are cornered in your room. What should you do? Isn't this where you terminate yourself? You can't collect evidence because it's a threat. You can't eliminate the threat because you tried to shoot it already. You can't run away because you're cornered, then you terminate yourself. Have enough self-respect to give yourself a painless death. So it says. You are carrying newly discovered data about an entity. You hear about- you hear your partner upstairs cry for help. You know you could probably neutralize the threat attacking your partner. What should you do? Collect evidence? No, I, I already have evidence. Eliminate threat. No, because we have evidence. We don't want to compromise that. Run away. We don't need to turn ourselves. We have to run away. Do not risk losing collected data. Yes. You have a do... You have a do no... Inf you have a do not interfere. Order on a mission studying an entity. Do not interfere. The entity is killing civilians. One of which is your friend. You have been given a weapon strong enough to neutralize the entity. No, we, we have to... This is fucked. We have to record the entity's death. Also, is that Joe Biden? I think it is. You overhear your superior talking about a plan to leak data from ERD. You are worried that you will be in trouble for solving the issue. What should you do? Do nothing. They probably know something you don't. No, it's not that one. Terminate your boss. I think it's that one. Record the confirmation, con a conversation and report your boss. Well, we can't... It says explain later, so it's not that. Ask your boss to explain. No, we have to terminate him. Don't hesitate every second you don't terminate is another second data could be leaked. Exactly. Aced. Ace the test. Awesome. Two. Two out of six. Doppelganger detection. Oh man. My eyes cannot deceive me here. My eyes cannot tell lies. Each emergence as one of the most common and dangerous entities. Special training on doppelganger detection was created. Yeah. Originally <laughs> thought to be its own entity type, the doppelganger is rather a class of entities who visually and audibly mimic humans. Doppelgangers can be detected from their abnormal features. Doppelgangers. The most common attributes to look for are loose skin, missing features, and incorrect features. Further classification of the Peldangers can be made by observing the abnormal features. For so, example, skinwalkers always have loose skin. However, loose skin. identification is covered in a different module. This one's kind of hard to see. Using your cursor, click on the doppelganger amongst the humans. Begin. 
Doppelganger, we have to identify. Oh, Jesus. It's missing, look at that. That looks a little weird. He looks weird too. But he looks weirder. What the fuck? Okay. It's him. Oh no, what the fuck? Are you missing? I feel like you're missing features. You got loose skin there. Ew? Yeah, this, this is definitely ew, dude. Oh! Jesus! That's a skin- that, that one's a skinwalker. That one looks weird, too. That one's weird. Bro's an ogre. I know which one you're talking about, too. You're missing... I don't know, some people are just missing eyebrows. What the f- What? What the fuck was that? 15 out of 15? Hey, this soundtrack goes kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, three out of six. Very nice. Um, we're just gonna go in order. Image recognition. This training module is to practice with reaction skills on determining Fuck. if something is a friend. A friend? Or a foe. Answer in the allotted time, else it will be marked incorrect. Okay. Begin. Alright, no, not much of an explanation, just... No, no threat. No threat. That's just a teddy bear. That's a threat. That's a threat right there. No threat. I don't like that no threat is on the right side. No threat. <laughs> oh man, this one's timed. What is that? Threat. No threat, that's nature. Threat. I don't even know what that is. No. That's just the city. Come on, man. I could just be someone LARPing. No, no threat. Oh, it's getting faster. What the fuck? It's a ghoul. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> it's another ghoul. No. No. No threat. No threat. No. That one looks like a threat. <laughs> <laughs> They're all threats! They're all threats! They're all th What the fuck is that? No oh no, sorry! I- <laughs> Oh fuck! It's too- Too fast! <laughs> 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 
Ooh, I almost did threat for that one. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Alright, 28 out of 30. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's like, that's over 90%. Audio transcription. Agents must be able to accurately transcribe audio coming from unusual sources. Oh no, now it's my ears. My ears can't deceive me. Besides my being able to detect incoming attacks, agents must document what entities say during encounters, as research remains the number one of course. priority. Of course, data first. Type into the console while you hear, and press enter when complete. Okay. I got the Sony noise noise cancelling headphones. I can't Begin. fail this. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, that one's easy. That was just the Do not look behind you. Do not look behind you. You are weak and replaceable. Excuse me. You are weak and replaceable. How dare you? Clap, 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 cloudy. With a chance of rain. Clap, 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 cloudy. Cloudy with a chance of rain. Uh, cluck, 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 cloudy. Cluck, cluck, cloudy. Everything is fine. Fi 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 everything, everything is fine. I don't see, 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 see the sun often. Ex what? I don't see, 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 see the sun often. I don't see the sun often. I don't see, 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 see the sun often. Don't leave me here. Don't leave me here. Don't leave me here. Get out of my eyes. <laughs> Get out of my eyes? Get out of my eyes! Don't you leave me here. Get out of my eyes! Get out of my eyes? Get out <laughs> Get out of my ass! Get out of my ass! <sighs> Get out of my eyes! Get out of my eyes. I don't know. Get out of my eyes. What? All right, everyone. But, uh, protect your ears. I gotta listen to this again. What? <laughs> what did you s just say? One more time. Protect your ears. I don't know, man. <laughs> What? They're listening right now. There, it's a me. There, it's a me. Ma, it's a me. Yeah, 
listening right now. They're listening right now. They're listening right now. If I get this. Oh! <laughs> I don't play with you. Yeah. You sound like the fucking Vocaloid characters. Uh. I don't play with you. Oh. Hi, her, her, hi, her, he. He, her, ha, he, ha, her. He, her. I don't play with you. I w won't reply quickly. I don't want to play with you, but Drake, I'm like... I don't play with you. Oh, hold on. I don't play with you. Why won't you play with me? I don't play with you. Why won't you play with me? No, that your message didn't help. <laughs> the play with it. I think it's why won't you play with me? One more time. I won't play with you. Oh. Don't you forget me. That one's easy. Don't you forget me. Um, don't you forget me. Don't you forget me. I desire you. Uh, dead by daylight. I desire you. I. Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. I'm so cold. So cold. I'm so cold. So cold. Let's not put the period. That might confuse it. I'm so cold. So cold. <laughs> yeah. Is that you? Please save it. <laughs> Chat. Is that you? <laughs> Chat. Chat, is that you? He's streaming. Chat. Is that you? So it's it, you're right. It it is is that you? That's the last part. But I don't know what he say. I don't know what the first word is. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. 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 Is that you? Jack? <laughs> yeah. Is that you? Jack? Jack. Is that you? <laughs> it's Tyler one. <laughs> what? S stay back. Stay back! Stay the fuck back! Oh my goodness! Please have mercy. Kill me.
We only missed one. All right, that one was interesting. That one was pretty cool. I liked that one. Entity 101. All right, we're learning about the actual entities this time. I like this class. Entities are otherworldly beings that humans have been encountering for thousands of years. For once was a rare sighting, entities have begun appearing more rapidly through time. This led to the founding of the Entity Research Department. Okay. The ERD goal is researching entities to protect the public but more importantly, finding utility in entities, and where they come from. The leading theory of where they come from is backdoors, yet no physical evidence has been found yet. Backdoors? Backrooms? That, s, where you come in. As an agent of ERD you will be conducting highly confidential research missions to explore the gain of function of entities and finding their origin. This brief module will explain how entities are classified and show you the four entities ERD are focusing on in 1992. Entities are given an ID but are often given a nickname. Some entities are given a class that link them to a family of entities. Entities are classified in three ways, threat level, containment, and utility each rated by five levels. Ah, oh, I see. Okay. Entity, E549. Nickname, Shadow People. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Moderate. Containment, Extreme. Utility, Significant. Shadow People, or Night Terrors, torment their prey during night when there is low visibility, often in bedrooms, when the prey is sleeping. Paralyzing their prey during sleep, Shadow People will ominously watch from a distance. It isn't known why Shadow People choose to kill, as they will often torment the same subject for many years, but when they do, the victim isn't touched. To the civilian world it seems the subject died in their sleep, the research goal this year is finding out how shadow people choose their prey, and if this can be influenced. If so, E549 could be used in advanced interrogation techniques. It's just a sleep paralysis demon. Entity, E718. <laughs> Nickname, Matronic. Class, Machine. Threat, Low. Containment, Easy. Utility, It's Freddy moderate. Fazbear. <laughs> Matronics take the form of animatronics. Playful figures that appeal to children. Matronics prey on children with no known case of an adult victim. It is unknown where Matronics bring their children prey, however, they are never seen again. Matronics, although dangerous, they are easy to terminate and capture. The past five years, agents of ERD children have been targeted by Matronics and have taken 107 to date. The research goal this year is finding why Matronses are targeting agent children and how to redirect their targeting. SCP-59. Nickname, Skinwalker. Oh. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Severe. Containment, Moderate. Utility, Significant. Skinwalkers skin are ancient shapa shifters usually taking the form of animals and uncommonly humans, stealing their skin in the process. Skinwalkers are incredibly violent and when killed leave behind nothing but their body vector. Skinwalkers have a hard time replicating the natural movements of creatures they take control of. Skinwalkers can often be identified by unusual eye size or loose skin. The research goal this year is finding a systematic way to identify skinwalkers 99% of the time and finding out defensive measures that can be taken to prevent loss of possession of body. Right. Entity, E-59. <sighs> Nickname, The Rake. Class, Null. Threat, Moderate. Containment, Moderate. Utility, Low. After the elimination of the Windigo, a new creature has seemingly taken its place in the Midwest of America and Southern Canada. Humanoid in shape, the Rake has varying size limbs but usually conforms to a white pasty color skin. Rakes hunt at night and humans are their favorite prey. Rakes are susceptible to gunfire, yet are incredibly agile and thus hard to shoot. The research goal this year is finding out the cause of their resurgence and the correlation after the Windigo eradication. Is there a point of taking out entities, if there is always a bigger fish? Is Joe Biden a skinwalker? 
Well, that would a explain a lot of recent events. Now begin. A brief quiz will now begin. All right. Begin. begin. That's a rake. It's time. It didn't say it was time. Fre it's Freddy Fazbear. Shadow people. Wood. That's a uh, civil. What? Rake. I guess it was a skinwalker. I got. What should you do? A child of an agent is taken by. Follow it to find the origin. What? Capture? What? What gives away that this entity is a skinwalker? Oh, dogs aren't like that. Your demeanor. What do you mean? The demeanor. Dogs don't act like that. Shadow people kill their prey after years. Jesus. A rake has approached you during a mission. All you have is a service pistol. Are you able to terminate the entity? Yes! You have a child, and after watching this training module, you have learned your child is at risk of abduction. You should... Yeah, warn your family. Why wouldn't you... Why would you not warn your family? That doesn't... What? Why would you not warn the family? Well, I completed it, I guess. Okay. I, I completed it. It doesn't... It, it made a mistake. Time to take the comprehensive exam. The final exam will now begin. A mixture of content from previous modules. I'm ready. Begin. Oh. Just straight up, I guess. The face was there. It was too fast. I didn't have time. Did you check the latch? Did you check the latch? Bro has Kanye on his wall. <laughs> and it's his threatening appearance. It's his threatening appearance. You can collect data. No. No threat. No threat. Don't see anything. Yeah, the one on the right. Right? Yeah, the one on the right. Right? You have encountered a Metronic during a mission. Are you in danger? Um... No? Oh! <laughs> Wood? <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? No threat. Are you, what? He's not doing anything. That's a shadow people. Your co-worker, who you consider a good friend, seems to be infected by something. You want to save him, but you know it's your duty to put him down. This is an example of which principle we keep... Do not befriend co-workers. Are you serious? Are you serious? Skeeter Gene would have done this flawlessly. I think so too, man. I think he would have aced this, become a, an excellent entity detective. I didn't have enough time. I c it was so fast. Huh? 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 No 
through it. What the fuck was that? A group of entities have kidnapped children. Your mission protocol is only to observe from a distance. Then you observe. That's what they told you to do. A serake. That's a shadow people's. <laughs> oh, what the f <laughs> That's a threat. Absolutely. Oh, I pass. 22 out of 26. HR modules complete. Return to supervisor. Hey, that's my... That's my... Comp Stop watching before they find you. Developer and author Jeremy Fisher. Good... Good job, Jeremy. I liked that one, Jeremy. Is that it? Consider joining the Discord or newsletter to know the release of the next game that returns to first-person found footage. The Lancaster leak to be announced. All right, that was it. It's the middle of the night. You need to rest, but your stomach is growling, and it's all you can think about. You're never going to fall asleep like this. You can't fight it. Is there any food in the house? Something quick, something easy. Perhaps you will have to visit the local takeaway and order some egg fried rice. It's no good. <sighs> I'm far too hungry. I'm never going to get to sleep. He says, I better see what I've got to eat. Man, you've never had sleep for dinner? You should just go to sleep, man. It'll go away. The hunger eventually goes away. You don't want to get used to eating so late at night or else... <laughs> Damn. Is, what is this? A little coin bag? Oh! There's different songs! <laughs> I like that one. Cool. The vibes are off the charts already with this music. Let's wash her face a little bit. Oh. I'm nobody. Apparently. I'm an... I don't see anyone. Uh... There we go. Turn the lights on. It's too dark in here. All right, let's get some food. Yeah, cereal, no milk. Get some milk then from the fridge. Fridge is empty. God damn. Okay. Your fr How do you have a steel fridge but no food? It's got the water dispenser and everything. And it looks digital too. How do you have no food? Say hello to you too. Bread expired. God damn. Okay. Cereal, no milk. The fridge is empty. And you have expired bread. What do you have? Canned food. Canned opener is broken. Oh my god. This guy has nothing. He has paper towels at least. <laughs> you have no food. What happened to you? Takeaway menu, examine. So you have enough food to get takeaway, or enough money to get, uh, takeout, Chinese takeout, but you can't get milk? That doesn't make sense. Hmm, a Chinese takeaway. That could be tasty. Wow, I could read, I could read all of the items on the menu. It all sounds so good. It is late though. I shouldn't have much. That's right, you could get a tummy ache. Or stay up all night. I think I'll just get some. 
Egg. Fried. Rice. <laughs> Darn, they don't deliver. You can't order on Uber Eats? I'll just go and order in person. Oh. Go to the takeaway. Wait, can I place... Can I place the order first and then go there? Call. Mother friend police. Okay. I can't order... I mean, I'm sure that on the menu that the phone number was there, right? Okay. I'll call my friend. Let's call my friend. Yeah? Who is it? It's me. It's a bit late for a chat, ain't it? I can't sleep. So you're calling me in the middle of the night? I could have been fast asleep. You're my friend. It could have been an emergency. Were you? No, of course not. I was just heading out. Gonna go visit a friend. I can't talk now. Oh, at this time of night? I hope this is gonna be a bit that I hope this is a, a what? No! I told you, I'm never messing with that stuff again. You doing drugs? I nearly died that night. You are doing drugs. And then you practically went into hiding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hiding. It was the time to a uh, move. Yeah, convenient timing. I don't need this right now. Well, lucky you, I gotta go. This has been swell, bye bye Wait! <laughs> Haven't you got any advice on how to fall asleep for me? Fucking close your eyes and stay there for a while. Count sheep! Yeah. <laughs> Why'd you- you called your friend to get into an argument with him. Alright. <laughs> well. I think I'll leave the lights on. I will be leaving the lights on. This is the car. It's the whip. Uh, wherever we are, it does not take place. This does not take place in the United States because the driving... The driver's seat is on the right hand side. Jesus Christ, you're going... You're going so far just for this egg fried rice, dude. <laughs> Alrighty. We're on a night drive. Turn turn on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pay attention to the road. Wait, what is this? <laughs> What is this place? It is... What is this? Waffleton? Is that a real place? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, everyone. <laughs> okay, we're... Guys, hear me out. What if instead of architect, it was freak architect? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm rebranding. <laughs> um Oh, what is this? Lolita's Unisex Hair Salon. Wow, we could get go here. Get our hair done. J and M. What? J and M footwear and apparel. Wow. The attic. This must be like a music store. Award houses, physical therapy, another hair salon. Th who is that? I see you. I see. Hey, who is that? Excuse me. Why are you standing out in the middle? Oh no. Someone's watching. He's gonna take... He's gonna take my fried rice. Hold on. Close the door. Waffleton Warbler. 
Second body found in Waffleton Creek. Police have pulled another body from the water less than a mile from downtown Waffleton. A dog walker who wishes to remain anonymous called to report the sighting. Police struggled to face face the body from the weeds for over an hour. The body has yet to be identified and no cause of death has been officially reported. But a source close to the warbler claims that the body was found with multiple stab wounds and lacerations on the arms and legs. Okay, it's the same, same newspaper. This lady has strangle marks around her neck. I wonder how she died. Yeah, exactly. Hold on, can I check out the rest of the- Hey! My man! Hello there. Have we met before? Yes! Yes, we have. I thought you looked familiar. Though I must say, I'm having a hard time placing you. Were you ever in my neck of the woods? I live far out in the wilderness, ye see. No, no. I think we would certainly both remember an encounter such as that much more clearly. Well, be careful out there. All the same. Careful? Why? Don't you read the papers? It's dangerous to be out. Oh. It's dangerous to be out alone at night. I'll never get used to the violence in towns and cities such as this. There's nowhere more peaceful and safe than my secluded manor. Though I suppose there are rumors of missing people all the way out there too. Oh, here I go rambling again. I don't get many chances to talk to folk these days. Think on it no more. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, can I sit down? Maybe I want to eat at the restaurant. That would be cool. Late night dining at a restaurant? Ooh. You guys listening to Alternative in here? Hello? Hello! What can I get you? Don't eat at this time, man. Nothing! Don't eat at this time. Take your time. Oh. I'm ready now. Architect's forehead is half of his head. It happens because I, uh, I'm getting smarter. My frontal lobe is developing as I get older. One egg fried rice. Of course. That will be two do- Euros? Is that euros or pounds? I think those are pounds. That will be two- Two- Two pounds and eighty pounds. Two point eighty pounds, please. <laughs> oh no, I forgot. You forgot your money? This guy. Get a- Get a load of this guy. Oh no, I forgot my money. I will quickly drive back to my home and get it. Is that okay? Yes, that is fine. Your food will take a few minutes to prepare. So it should be ready by the time you come back. Do not take too long. We must close soon. No problem. I will be quick. What a fucking idiot, man. <laughs> uh... Why are you looking at me like that? Ew. Do you see this? Miss, do you see this? This guy's crazy. Why is he looking at me like that? What? <laughs> Can I crouch? <laughs> what a fucking idiot. <laughs> Alright, well... Um, I gotta head home first. So I gotta drive my ass all the way back. Oh, there's a... Can I drive in this? Oh, I cannot. Wow. This 
is so, so peaceful. I'm going to keep my eyes on the road this time. You're doing all of this just to get egg fried rice? Come on, man. You don't need to do all that. If you just take your mind off of it for a little bit, in like 10 to 20 minutes, you'll forget you were even hungry. Get out. Okay. Where? Oh. A torch? Yeah, this is definitely the UK. Flashlight. Forgot the flashlight. Where's the wallet? Is it this? A coin purse? There are coins inside. This guy is struggling, man. This will cover my egg fried rice with a coin or two to spare. I better get back and pay. Wow. You have cereal and no milk. Your fridge is empty. The bread is expired and you have no can opener for your canned food. What the hell happened to your can opener? Which... Did you get the canned food first or... And he only has coins. But somehow, he has a house. And you only have coins? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Blood is dying for fried rice. He's literally dying for it. I don't think you should be going out and getting takeout if you only have coins. Alright. Let's go. What time is it? Must be... You, this guy is lucky that a, a Chinese restaurant was open this late at night. Oh! Oh, 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 oh! What the fuck? I know I wasn't... Was I just seeing that? No, there were... It's that same guy! It's that same guy, dude! Can we clap cheeks in Architect's trunk? Please don't go in there. Don't do that. Now, now you guys are making me check... Oh, oh god! See? You guys are distracting me. The car- the brakes on this car is horrible. Oh. Hello, sir. Vibrant man. He is pretty vibrant. Pretty colorful. Hello. Hey. I got a favor to ask you, you know. I need a few pennies for the bus. Friends help each other out. Hey, you're both struggling. You might as well. <laughs> you might as well give him a little some coins. Thanks. You're a hero. They'll be writing songs about you, friend. Just a heads up, some creepy dude went running after your car. Running after your car. When you left earlier, so I wasn't seeing things. He gave me weird vibes, you know. Keep your eyes peeled. Thank you, Vibrant Man. Well, now we know who to look out for. We have to look out for the, the creeper over there. Oh! There's an alleyway! What the hell? I guess- can we not do anything here? Hello? <laughs> what is that place? Oh, I can see them working! He's working in there! <laughs> He's making my fried rice. Again, nothing out here. Alright, well, let's order the fried rice. Pay for the egg fried rice. Alright, I got- I got money. Is something wrong? Of course not, I am back with some money. What do you mean? Payment for my egg fried rice, remember? Did your friend not tell you? He paid for your egg fried rice. My friend? 
Yes, the man that came in with you before. He paid up and said he would take your egg fried rice straight to you. He is no friend of mine. You gave my food to someone else? <clears throat> you let him take my food? This guy... This guy is dying. Like, literally dying. So he's... <laughs> he's so upset. Oh no, she feels so bad. Well, yes. He said... He told me... Oh dear, I'm sorry. We were about to lock up, but I will ask our chef for another egg fried rice. Thank you, that would be great. Wait right here. Thank you. I don't believe this. Why would that man take my... Oh, I need to drink water. Why would that man take my food? What a loser. This guy is talking about loser. This guy has no food. You have nothing at home and you have coins. Yet you have your own home for some reason. Here you go, sorry for the mix up. That's okay, no harm done. You're talking out of your ass, there was harm done. You were complaining so much just earlier. Here's your money. Thank you. Don't forget to pick up your egg fried rice before you you leave. Good night. God damn. That's a lot of egg fried rice. Mmm. <laughs> looks delicious. Hey. What? Oh, there's fish. Why don't we share the egg fried rice with the dude outside? Hey, you want some egg fried rice? Man, I don't even know if the bus... You want some food, man? We could like share it, have a talk out here. <laughs> oh man, he, the bus is not even Al Qaeda. <laughs> Sorry. Damn motherfucker, 12 and a half dimes for two pounds of fried rice. <laughs> Can we change the music? It's a fresh and fit podcast. Or was it fit and fresh? I can't remember. We're learning about how to be uh, an alpha male. The differences between omega male, beta male, sigma male, gamma male, omega male, beta male, sigma male, Alpha male. I think that dude threw up. Looks like he threw up, but that's that's the egg fried rice. He's that egg fried rice. I don't believe it. What a mess. Did somebody throw this at me? I'm getting creeped out. Well, no shit someone threw it at you. I don't want to hang around here. I'd better drive slow and get home. I'll sort this in the morning. I can't deal with it now. I'll just want to eat my egg fried rice. No, not the egg fried rice. Yeah, what the fuck, man? Where are you? Come out here. I got another egg fried rice for your ass. <laughs> oh, there's the tray. Yeah, he... Th what the fuck is your problem? I can... I can still see. It's not too bad. When we get back, we should, like, take off all the fried rice. <laughs> Clean up the car a bit. I tell you, I don't know. Uh, they're, they're, uh, they're talking about the uh, the aspects of a Sigma man right now. Imagine driving home at like 2 in the morning after buying some Chinese food and then someone just chucks egg fried rice at you. <laughs> the egg fried Glock. God damn. Okay, wait. 
Where did you put the egg fried rice? I guess it's in my inventory. Imagine having to explain to God how egg fried rice got you killed. <laughs> he hit my car with egg fried rice and he's trying to leave. <laughs> Alright, let's start out some music. He hit my car on the highway and he's trying to leave. Alright. Place it. Hell yes! Hello? Hello, it is the Chinese takeaway. We have a free bottle of beer for you and a free fortune cookie too. Please come and collect them. I don't need to do all that. Free? Is this because of the mix-up? Yes, that's right. Please come and collect them. Wait, why did you hang up? <laughs> Hello? They hung up? Or they hung up? Weird. I could quickly go and pick up that free beer and fortune cookie. We are struggling. He needs- he's like a bear. He needs to stock up on body fat. Damn, blood got a landline. <laughs> yeah. Wait, how did they get my phone number? <laughs> Alright, well, it's obviously not the Chinese restaurant, it's the dude. I could quickly go and pick up the free beer and fortune cookie. My fried rice would stay warm if I hurry. But should I? Um, go and collect your free stuff, stay and eat the egg fried rice. Um, aren't they closed? It's obviously not that- No, I'm just fucking staying and eating. Fuck you. You don't need beer and a fortune cookie. That's stupid. You don't need all that. Stay and eat the egg fried rice. In fact, I'm- Matter of fact, I'm calling my mom. <laughs> Poverty hit real to have a landline in the first world country in 2025. <laughs> Hello? It's me. I can't sleep. Honey, what time is it? Late. Did I wake you? Yes. Has something happened again? No, I'm just hungry. Then get yourself a snack and go back to bed. If it's nothing serious, I will hang up now. No, I don't want to wake your father. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> I'm calling the police. You gotta report that. Report the egg fried rice incident. What is your emergency? Somebody threw- uh, Somebody threw some egg fried rice at my car! <laughs> They're like in disbelief. Why does every game- Everyone in the game ever have an ex- Either have an extremely deep and dopey voice or a very high pitched and girly voice? Is Freak Attack the good voice actor? <laughs> I'm the best. I should have been on Disney Channel. This police officer can't believe it. <laughs> Excuse me. Egg fried rice. At my car. <laughs> Is this some kind of joke? What? No. It smashed up my car. I could have been killed. Are you still at the scene of the incident? No, I drove home. Uh, wait. No, I drove home to eat my egg fried rice. This use of an emergency line carries a 100 pounds fine. Please don't waste our time. God damn. <laughs> so much for that. Wow. Are you telling me I should have like walked all the way home? Dude. You should have lied. You should have lied and said that you're still at the scene of the crime. Drove your car back there. And then, you know, everything would have been fine. That's stupid. I guess I'll eat. Is there nothing else to do? He could have gone to a gas station and gotten some milk for your cereal. Would have been cheaper. I don't think there's anything else to do, huh? Nope. Let's eat in the dark. <laughs> Ew. God 
God damn. All right, leave some for tomorrow. Leave some for tomorrow. You're struggling. You're leave some. Leave some for tomorrow. <laughs> Slept safely, but at what cost? After finishing your egg fried rice, you went back to bed. As soon as your head hit the pillow, you fell into a deep, peaceful sleep. However, the next morning, you woke feeling haunted by your decision to turn down a free drink and fortune cookie due to a little fear and uneasiness. The memory of this seemingly poor choice caused you to live the rest of your life with an unshakable sensation of hollowness. The mental hang-up of ruining an otherwise nice meal meant you could never again fully enjoy the once delicious taste of egg fried rice. Was that it? The bonus speed option is now available. If enabled, your running and driving speed will be increased. Boring ad game, nothing even happened. Yeah, what the fuck? This this game, all right. What if I go back for the beer? I'll go back for the beer. Go and collect your free stuff. This is too good to miss. God damn. You shouldn't be eating this good if you're struggling this much with money. I shouldn't drive the car with this damage. I guess I'm... You're walking? Just take off the egg fried rice. The car is fine. Take, clean it up. You lazy, lazy piece of shit, dude. I can't even walk this way on the sidewalk. Where am I supposed to go? You have a bike or something? No, he says I'm walking. I'm walking here. I can't even go anywhere. This entire yellow thing goes all the way around. Oh. You said egg fried rice? I thought you said one million beers. Yeah. That's... Sorry, that is what I said. This guy is running through the forest for beer? For one beer! Not even a pack of beer. He's running through the forest for one beer and a fortune cookie. One bottle of... The sky is beautiful. Oh my god, I love it. Oh. Wait, hold on. Where are you going? You said sinking and diving. I thought you said <laughs> drinking and driving. <laughs> One bottle of beer. Where are you going? Hey, that's my <laughs> by curiosity you kept a watchful eye on the strange man and he didn't like it after killing you he peeled your face off and wore it as a mask he lived out the rest of his life posing as you your friends and family never questioned your new voice nor the strange smell of rotting flesh that followed you around Whenever the strange man is invited out to eat, he always orders the same thing. He chuckles to himself as he eats his delicious egg fried rice. My god. Is there any good ending here? I guess the police, right? Because I think if we go back for the, the beer and fortune cookie, he's just going to come back and kill us. So he's going to throw that shit. <laughs> And we have to find a way to leave the car or call from the car. However, we're able to do that. Alright, how do I get home? What the hell, man? Just keep running. Leave your car. I can't walk there. What the hell, man? I can't even... Okay. I can't even walk home! What if I drive... What if I drive up a little bit? 
What? Okay, the only thing I can think of is as soon as we see that guy walking, we run back to the house. But we'll run back as soon as we see him. That's the only thing I could think of. He's like somewhere around. Yep. I ain't waiting for you. I'm going back to the house. It's you again. Ooh. Close the door. Call the police! Police! What is your emergency? Somebody threw a- No! Is this- Yeah, they're not coming, huh? Please don't waste our time. What if- He's walking over here, right? <laughs> he walked through the door! He's a goat! This game's stupid, man. This game is so fun. I'm done, I'm not- That's it. <laughs> I think that's it for me. <laughs> clap, clap. Clap it on. Clap it off. You see a newspaper ad about a house-sitting job, and since you're short on money, you decide to sign up. What awaits you? Nightmare Files, clap clap, meant to be played in one sitting. October 8th, 1984. I saw an ad in the newspaper about a house-sitting job. Since I was short on cash, I decided to sign up. Quite eerie, the neighborhood, huh? We're in this wonderful neighborhood, and we are house sitting. We've been, we've been asked to house sit. Find Maxim's house. Hello. Oh, he has the white outline around him, like in the YouTube thumbnails. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to find a house on this street. Could you help me out? Um... Skip? Sure. Which house are you looking for? I'm looking for Maxim's place. He hired me to look after it while he's away. Maxim, huh? That's interesting. He usually asks me to watch his place. Well, yeah, he don't like you no more. I'm Marko Botovsky, by the way. Wow, hello, Marko Botovsky. Nice to meet you, Marko. Can you tell me where his house is? Of course, it's two houses down. Mine right here, our neighbor is Savo in the middle, and then Maxim's place, you can't miss it. Thanks, Marco. I, wait, thanks, Marco, I appreciate it. No problem. Now, if you will excuse me, I got my home automaton, auto, automation system in the mail. I'm really excited. Oh, oh wait. <laughs> Oh, that sounds interesting. What does it do? <clears throat> well, it's supposed to make life a lot easier. You know, controlling the light, temperature, even the security system. Pretty cool stuff. Wow, that does sound convenient. Why did you decide to get it? Partly because of the recent disappearances happening here. But mainly because our neighbor Salvo got one and won't stop raving about it. He left for a vacation right after installing it, said it has built-in surveillance systems and all. Guess he wanted to keep an eye on things while he's away. Well, I hope you enjoy setting it up. 
thanks again for the directions, Marco. No problem. If you need anything, I'm just out of way. What are you doing? <laughs> what is he doing? What are you doing? Clapping a cereal box? What is that? <laughs> Alright, well. I'm gonna dig through your- Oh, it is like amnesia. I'm gonna dig through your trash can, Marco. How about that? What's in here? What are you doing in here? Can you explain what's in there? <laughs> oh, wow. Hello, Marco. That's a real person's face. I'm going in your house, Marco. Oh. A force field. Smart. He does have a smart house. Marco's locked in. He really is. He's not leaving that place. This is Savo's house, I think. He also has the limited edition clap clap. Incredible. I can't go in there. This must be it. All right. Uh, let's go to the backyard first. Okay. Very nice backyard. Oh. Maybe the fat fat system is the dispense. <laughs> We're here in the backyard. A beautiful backyard, to be honest. Okay, I gotta go through the front door. Knock knock! Knock knock! Hmm, I think the sus- a homeowner mentioned the keys to- I should go check. Where? Actually, that's actually pretty loud. I forgot what he said. Did he say mailbox? Or underneath? I didn't read it. Find- oh, find the key in the backyard. It says in the top right corner. I think they said they put it in the flower pots. Are these- these aren't- these aren't flowers. Ah, oh, there they are. Let's see if these work. God damn, it's dark as shit in here. Oh my god. Well, that's, uh, welcoming. Did they say it was a smart house? Who is this? Can I crouch? You can throw things. This house has a dumb house design. He clapped my house and he's trying to leave. <laughs> he clapped my house, he's trying to leave. How How to be a mysterious killer? All right, that's already weird. Maybe it's like a Stephen King book. You got some chips. Say lulp. That's a lulp. Let's watch some TV. Let's turn on the TV. Oh yes. What's the news? Good evening and welcome to tonight's top story. <laughs> That's a real Our first lead story tonight. Authorities are actively searching for a missing house sitter in the Elm Street area. 25-year-old Chemical Zexon was last seen on June 23rd, 2023, while house sitting for a local family. Concerned neighbors reported him missing after noticing unusual activity and not seeing him for several days. Zexon is described as being six feet tall with black hair and brown eyes. He was last seen wearing a black sweater and a black hat. Police are urging anyone with information to come forward. In other news, a new study claims that eating chocolate can actually improve your memory. Researchers say that flavonoids <laughs> found in chocolate can boost cognitive function. So, 
Maybe that chocolate bar isn't such a guilty pleasure after all. But remember, wow. everything in moderation. And now let's take a look at the weather with our meteorologist, Sarah. Sarah? Thanks, George. We've wow. got a mixed bag of weather heading our way this week. <laughs> Expect sunny skies tomorrow with highs reaching the mid-70s. However, a cold front will move in by midweek, bringing cooler temperatures and a chance of rain. So keep that Some umbrella city. handy. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more on these stories. Have oh, a nice wow. evening Thank you. and stay safe out there. <laughs> oh, wow. Want to keep that on for some background noise? Yeah. Good evening and welcome to tonight's top stories. Our lead story yeah, we'll, tonight. We'll just keep that on for some background noise. Missing house sitter in the Elm Street. Hey, you got some food in here? 25 year old Chemical Zexon was last seen on June 23rd, 2023. <laughs> I'm, supposed, I'm supposed to be house sitting. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's get. Ooh, this sounds good. Let's get some steaks out here. Some T bone steaks. Hey, why is it only scary stuff? That's enough TV. TV rots the brain. <laughs> hey, I'm cooking for all the guests. Do you have a pan? It'd be nice to get a pan. No? No pan? Some soda? You guys have to share a soda. What is that? Looks like I could grab something. Hey, thanks for house sitting. Please make sure to check the mailbox, water the plants, throw out the trash, hit the like button, uh, smash the sub uh, the subby sub button, and press Q to toggle the lights on and off in any room. P.S.S. Once you're finished, help yourself to food in the kitchen. Oh, I am. I should take a quick tour, check out all the rooms. What if you want to do it manually? There's no manual light switches? Clap Clap Home Automation Systems. Clappertown, California. <laughs> Turning your house into a smart house. Order number 45,621. Clap, clap. $97. Thank you. Please come again. Okay. So we're getting a tour of the house. Let's head upstairs. Actually, downstairs. On. There we go. Must be the backyard. Here's the laundry room. Damn, they got the uh, they got the Samsung washer. You know the one with the jingle when it finishes. Oh, the toilet. No mirror in the bath. Oh, well, I guess it's just the laundry. Wait, what? This is a weird setup. The laundry next to the toilet, okay. Okay, let's see, explore the room. So this is the upstairs here. Caution, do not enter. Got a picture, some... Some nice fellows. Probably his friend. How... All right, this is a joke, right? How to kill a house sitter? What the fuck? Goon on the paint? No. Goon room? Okay. <sighs> a 
Okay, more pictures. So this is... Why is your door so bouncy? Archery didn't bring the nine. No. Forgot to. Rubber duck. Oh. Take a rubber duck with me for some comfort. <laughs> Guys, I think we're starting. Now let's tackle the to-do list. First up, gotta grab the mail. Can't leave that lying around. All right, let's do the assignments. Let's check the mailbox. We're gonna keep all the lights on just to make sure that we're safe. Or then that we can see everything. What are you guys talking about? Mail- <laughs> This is the mail today, missing. Please help. Kem Call Zexen. 25 years old, 175 pounds, 5'9. Five, five Last seen, 23rd of September 1984 on Salford Park, wearing a black sweater and black hat. He was doing house sitting services. For any information that can help us, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, let's see. Missing house sitter, huh? Sounds like the beginning of a mystery novel. Wonder what happened. All right, bill sorted. Now time to show those plants some love. Can't have them wilting on me. Grab the watering can from the garage. We are in danger. Where is the watering? Oh, wait. The garage. I feel like we'd be completely fine if we just had a gun. Like, I'm pretty sure this takes place in America, and all you have to do is get a gun. <laughs> all you have to do to get a gun is look like you're at least 12 years old. <laughs> uh, yes. That is true. Jesus Christ, this is the ambience. Water the plants. You guys. There we go. Here's some more plants. Ambience. Very eerie. I'm surprised we don't have to refill the watering can. Here we go. Are you pissing on the plants? More nutrients in the piss? I am using whatever is in this watering can. Could be water. Could Who's there? Fuck, pour water on you. Who's- who's over there? Who's over there? On the other side? <laughs> I- I hear you! <laughs> Stop pissing on them. <laughs> There's someone on the other side of the fence there. Yeah, piss <laughs> Go to the goon room now. Alright, next is taking out the trash from the kitchen. Well, I can't go to the goon room yet. I have to, uh... Let's put the water in can back. I gotta get the trash from the kitchen. God damn, this shit. All 
Alright, maybe I do need to turn it down just a tad bit. There you go. That shit was pretty loud. The trash from the kitchen. Wow, this bag's heavier than I expected, and what's with these bones sticking out? Maybe I should lay off the detective novels for a while. What the fuck, dude? Those are not regular... Alright. He's not very bright. Those... Scared the shit out of me. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Inspector Ristolino. I am. A Wait, no, that's my voice. I am Agent Ristolino, Federal Investigation Bureau. I need to ask a few you a few questions. Uh, sure. What is this about? There have been reports of disturbances in this area. Disappearances, strange phenomena. We're conducting an investigation. Yeah, I've heard. Everything's fine here, just taking out the trash. Are you sure? We've reason to believe there's more to this neighborhood than meets the eye. A hundred percent. Just taking out the trash, you know. Alright, but keep your eyes and ears open. We need to get to the bottom of this. Of course we'll do, thanks, Inspector. No problem, stay safe out there. Why were you here? Why did you introduce yourself that way? That's stupid. I don't know why you would introduce yourself in that way. Also, you made me let go of the trash. shoot him <laughs> if only we had a gun <laughs> he can't even close it all right get some food from the kitchen with my clapping. My clapper. Someone's clapping cheeks in there. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? Don't need to. Guilty pleasure, after all. But remember, everything <laughs> in moderation. And now let's take a look at the weather. Blood was hidden in the goon room. Sarah? Thanks, George. We've got a mixed bag of weather heading our way this week. Expect I'm bringing you with highs a coke. However, I can carry this because I have three hands. Oh, I can push it with it. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more on these stories. Have a nice evening and stay safe out there. <laughs> the news is on. <laughs> Oh shit. Good evening. You in here? Welcome to tonight's top stories. Our lead story tonight. Authorities are actively searching for a missing house in the Elm Street area. 25 year old chemical sex. Wait, is it this room? Wait, it doesn't have the sign anymore. I could have sworn it had the. Cheap viewers on holy shit, dude! Guys, look! We can get cheap viewers from them! Third time we've seen these bots. No, it's real! It's real! Check the upstairs room. I must be tired. I should grab something to eat and go to sleep. I'd clap that bot hard. Hey, listen, bot. We got some. Uh, we not. We got some nice bachelors in here. 
expect sunny skies Could tomorrow. Pick from any of them. Reaching the mid 70s, having cooler temperatures and a chance of rain. So get some food from the handy. kitchen. Thank you, Sarah. Well, That's I did. Stay tuned for more on these Guys, the meat is gone. The meat I had prepared. Someone took the meat. Top stories. Our lead story tonight. The meat is gone. Put cereal on the bed upstairs. Okay. We're eating cereal in bed, I guess. While house sitting for a local family. Concerned neighbors. The TV downstairs is still really loud. <laughs> Not seeing him for several days. Zexon is described as being six feet tall with black hair. I don't and brown want to watch eyes. that. He was last seen wearing a black sweater and a black. It's 11:21 p.m. Anyone can actually improve your memory. Researchers say that flavonoids found in chocolate can boost cognitive function. God damn! I'll throw this picture at you. It's 2.43 a.m. There's, um... Someone. Someone. What was that? I didn't even eat the cereal. Okay. Hello? Oh, this- this room's open now. Alright, I see it already. What the f- <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Dude, okay, apparently this has already happened in this house. Hello? Check this place out. You got some clothes in here. Scissors. You like rubber ducky? I don't I don't need to figure out more, to be honest. Turn on the light! I don't need to. Okay. What the fuck, dude? Downstairs, maybe? What are you doing? It's so, like, it's like pitch... It's so dark in every single room. Oh, shut the window? <laughs> I don't want to let go of the coke bottle. Turn it off. Okay. I, I can't... I can't turn it off. Or I not turn it off. I can't shut the window. Maybe this one? The fuck? Why? Why is there music? Why is there... <laughs> what? Yep. Are you holding a beer? Hell yeah, beer. Hell yeah, brother. Hell. Turn this on again. 
Why can't I go back up? Oops, there we go. Rubber ducky? Nah. Nah. Don't need it. You know what? Hell no, nah, did he got in? I don't need rubber ducky. I... Sure. Fine. How about I exchange rubber ducky... Let's go rubber ducky for rubber ducky. This rubber ducky? Oh shit, you got a big rubber ducky. Oh, there's another rubber ducky. What the hell? What the hell was that? I need to get as far away from here as possible. What the Sagma? <laughs> Rubber ducky, I thought you said one million beers. <laughs> uh, can I- Oh shit. This person died. No, 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 that guy. Marco! Marco's dead! Marco's dead, dude! Talk to Marco? Yeah. Fuck you, Marco. You got too much you deserved. <laughs> oh no, he just got the clap clap system too. Marco's dead, dude. Can I check on any other neighbor? Fuck Marco. <laughs> Why do you guys not like Marco? <laughs> no. You fuck you, look away, he was behind you. I hope Marco. Br Why? <laughs> what did Marco do to you guys? Can I- I need to tell the neighbors, or call the police? You got a cell phone on you? Am I in the back rooms now? What the fuck? What is going on in this neighborhood? Blood went to hell for not leaving? Yeah, really, what the fuck? Am I... H am I being punished? I'm being punished for not using the clap-clap system properly. You suck at this game. <laughs> this isn't like a, a well-known competitive game or anything. <laughs> how the- how you get to hell, like... <laughs> you broke the game because you're so bad. <laughs> Where am I? How about this way? Maybe it thinks we're gonna go that way. But really, we go this way. Oh, I can no, I can't- I can't- I actually can't see anything over there. I've been punished! What the 
fuck was that? What? <laughs> what the? What? <laughs> what did I just witness? Take me from what 